they want to close a little church that's a place of refuge smack in the middle of one of the worst ghettos in all of New York State, and yet they want to close that, but they got the money to spend on this. That's just plain wrong. Parishioners at St. Mary's Church in Newburgh are upset and recently staged a protest. It's a done deal, from what I understand. Well, a done, you know what John Paul Jones said when the British ship uh, blew the masts off his ship and blew holes in it, and the British captain asked to surrender? His answer was, I have not yet begun to fight. And this fight to keep this church alive has been going on for years. Marietta Allen says they're in the appeal process and they're waiting to hear from the clergy. Once the appeal gets back, there is another court above the uh, congregation for the clergy at the Vatican and we also can appeal there. And if we're not happy with that result, then we'll go to the top and actually the Pope, we can present our case to him. And they want the archdiocese while they're waiting to not close the parish you know, turn off the lights and change the locks kind of thing, um, out of respect for the Vatican and out of respect for this process, because they wouldn't have had the process unless there was a need for it. The protest was held outside the bishop's residence, an expensive home in an exclusive neighborhood paid for by the Archdiocese of New York. They say closing the church is unjust. They're a viable parish. Members of the church raise $400,000 of their own money to keep it open. That was done without archdiocese uh, support. Other parishes, they take loans from the archdiocese here. They're, the parishioners are very much into fiscal prudency and they'll raise the money first and then they'll do something. Mm -hmm. So they'll put the boiler in then they'll put the walk in one at a time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's in perfect, you know, pristine condition. According to canon law, there's two reasons to close. One is corruption and one is if the dilapidated buildings that are unsafe. So we have neither of that. We have a lot of people who give to Catholic uh, charities and give to the Cardinal's Appeal. And when they see these kind of things, they really re think how much is appropriate for them. So we think the archdiocese can use their funds more prudently. We think they can allocate priests better. If you look on the archdiocese web website, there's over 900 priests and there's like 300 parishes. So it's allocation. Where are they going? And you know, don't say there's a priest shortage if uh, there are priests there and there's like five in a parish. You know. And if these doors close permanently, so will over 40 programs that help the poor right here in the city of Newburgh. Poverty is alive and kicking in cities like Newburgh and Poughkeepsie and other cities in the Hudson Valley. And it is a shame to deny those in need what this, this church has been able to provide all these years. I mean, it's amazing to see on a given day and on Thanksgiving Day, the hundreds and hundreds of turkeys that are go out uh, to the needy families. It's really uh, uh, something that uh, has uh, hit hard uh, all of us uh, that have known this institution and what it does for our community. There's five, gener five generations some of these families mm -hmm. have been members of the parish. Their great-great-grandparents bought uh, stained glass windows for the parish, that kind of thing. I was baptized at St. Mary's Church 90 years ago. My whole family. Yeah, my mother, father, and eight children. We were all baptized there married there, funerals there. I'm the last one left. They're looking down from heaven at me saying, thank you, Kiki, I'm sure. We've got to keep this church open. It's really a travesty. The last mass here at St. Mary's Church is scheduled for July 31st. But in the words of Mr. Campanaro, we have not yet begun to fight. We will certainly bring you all the latest developments here. Reporting in the city of Newburgh, I'm Donna Ryer.